welcome to our show. Thanks a million. It's so lovely to be here. You've no idea. Uh, even before we met in San Antonio with, at the ICPA conference, you and I were emailing because the theme of the conference was Western theme, and I had no idea what exactly <laughs> that meant. So, <laughs> And I didn't want to be the only non-participator, but I didn't want to get it wrong altogether. So I was emailing <laughs> you and said, like, what, you know, like, is it serious? Is it strict? And you were like, relax, it's fine. You know, <laughs> it's a bit of fun. And my gosh, it was. With what you saw, before we start getting into some things with your company, because you have a fascinating company and, and, and some of the credentials I love. But when you came over to ICPA in, in the summer or in the fall, excuse me, in, in September, um, what was your impression overall as, as we we're getting together and all that? Did you see or do you see a difference of the way some Americans approaching, you know, the training and need for training? Or is it very similar to that of those the way Europeans are looking at things? I think there's so many similarities. Over the course of, of the last 10, 15 years or so, we put together these um, kind of one day, half day sessions on customs, half day sessions on classification. And so... As time went on, we got an overwhelming request for a more comprehensive program that covers all aspects of customs and trade compliance. So the program that the ITI offers is based off the EU customs competency framework. Customs broker is is trained to be able to prepare and submit an entry here in the US on behalf of the importer. So in relevant terms, when an entry is prepared and submitted, let's say to Ireland uh, Customs, there, you know, obviously it's EU clearance. But in that, is it just any individual kind of thing, or is it an individual from the company? And how is, is there a bond tied to that, or that the uh, customs says, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll trust your word, or do you have to pay for your duties and taxes at, right at that time? How's that work for us? <laughs> For you, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, so you can be a customs clearance agent with zero qualifications. For me, that was totally normal until I realized, I mean, I know it's not just the US, there's other uh, uh, trading blocks and countries that are similar. Not that we want to go into Brexit too much, but Brexit for us, particularly from Ireland, because of it from a geographical point of view, where Ireland, UK and the rest of the Europe was, we used to use the UK, or we and you still can use the UK as a land bridge and you didn't uh, have to make any sort of customs declarations. But now in Ireland, what we see happening is the amount of customs declarations submitted into the customs authorities has massively increased. So you've got a program that provides training that is all encompassing based on your, you're saying the EU standards and what should be included in that. So if you go through and you have all these different courses that you're, that you've laid out, I take all of that. One of the things that you, you've not mentioned to me is that is the credential. What do I get if I complete all these courses and all that from with, with your program? We've aligned ourselves with a university in Scotland called Glasgow Caledonian University. So you get a university credit rated certificate at the end of this seven week program where you can pin it up on your wall or share it on LinkedIn or do whatever it is that you want to, to do with it. And, and do you know what I found was those that take this program, like in some cases, they may have 20, 25 years experience in industry. And I'll say to them, my gosh, you could almost deliver this program. Why are you doing it? And they say, well, because I want that academic recognition Behind what the credentials my, so you can show yeah. people. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And so in Europe, it's like a level six on the Irish framework of qualifications. I, 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 I'm still trying to figure out what the U.S. equivalent is, but it's like um, it's a it's a practical professional qualification. So and it's university recognized, which I think is look, I think it's important. But at the end of the day, what's what 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 we find is more important is is uh, the practical information. Can I apply what I learn to my job? 